Howdy freeze dryers, it's Brian with Live Life Simple. Today we're gonna go over how to properly clean your freeze dryer because something that always comes up is something explodes or you forget to clean it or you forget to leave the door open, you get some mold or something inside and it's just a, a really big pain in the butt to get in between these trays. Then you have to know how to take the tray rack system out. This door can easily get messed up and today we're gonna cover all that stuff and uh, tell you how to clean your freeze dryer the right way. So even the tidiest of people have problems with needing to clean the freeze dryer and really it's just a good practice anyway to clean it even if you're not doing it every single load just uh, you know in, in increments. So let's start with this door. How do you clean this door? Because it, this is a plexiglass type material and it can scratch very, very easily. Do not use abrasive cleaners. No bleach, uh, no Windex. Uh, I would recommend no Windex at least. So what do you use to clean this? No, no. We need to use something soft. I always use a microfiber cloth that you would use for cleaning windows or cleaning your car, something like that. They're not, they're not abrasive, they're not gonna scratch. But what kind of cleaner can you use? And the best thing we can use to disinfect and to clean at the same time is some white vinegar, or a lot of people also use vodka. And I think that's for a couple reasons. First of all, I want to use something that's organic, that's going to be near or on or around my food. I don't want something like Mr. Clean or uh, Clorox bleach or something like that. Some people do use bleach. I personally do not. I use vinegar and sometimes vodka. You could probably use some other clear uh, type alcohols too. Tequila, gin, but I really like vinegar. And you can also put this in a spray bottle and that way it's a little bit more handy. This isn't gonna scratch the glass, but it's still gonna clean it. It's gonna disinfect but it's also safe to be around the food that you're freeze drying. Next, let's move into the inside of this chamber and this rack, which just really holds all kinds of junk and it's really tough to clean. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Especially if this is your first time, it might be a little bit intimidating. So the first thing we're gonna do is just take this rubber gasket or seal off of here. This has a little edge or a little uh, cove on the inside that rides on this edge of the chamber. So once you have that out, this rack will pull all the way out. You don't wanna pull it all the way out because there is a cord that talks to the rest of the freeze dryer. And that cord has a few functions, one of which tells these heat mats that are on the top here when to turn on, what the temperature is, etc. So this harness, has a little red clip on it. Depending on which version, I think they all have this, but this slides in and out. Uh, that locks these two plugs together. You want it in the out position like that. And then take two hands, hold both sides of this plug, and you need to push down on this little black clip right here. That will release the plug. And then your tray will be free of the chamber. And the inside of this chamber, I would also recommend no strong abrasives, no chemicals. I would use vinegar or tequila, gin, vodka, something like that to clean the inside of this as well. You could also use a light soap or water. I would probably not recommend that on the door, but the inside of the chamber, that would be fine. Just make sure you get it rinsed out plenty. And now that you have this rack out of here, you can definitely see just all the cracks and crevices. This is a total pain in the butt to clean. So what's the easiest way to get in here without having to reach, I mean, my hand won't even fit all the way in here with really jam, without jamming it in there. I have found this brush to be absolutely awesome for getting in between the cracks here of the rack. You can scrub, it hits both sides at the same time. And I'll put a link, this, this brush is from Amazon, I'll put a link to this in the description. You can also find it in the Amazon store link. It's four or five bucks, well worth the money. It's free shipping, so that will uh, that will save your butt many, many times over. I also forgot to say that this goes all the way through here, and it's also deep enough that you can get it from the front. So you can go all the way to the back. 
super handy. So on the rack, I would recommend that same thing, soap and water, vinegar, or alcohol. And then once, you're, once you need to dry it off, just to use your microfiber cloth again. And you can actually take that same brush and kind of use that to, to dry it off and poke it through and get all those little tiny water droplets that just don't want to, to go away. I've also found that if you just want to kind of shortcut it, just let it sit this way and just kind of air out and drain down that way. Just leave it that way for about an hour and it'll usually dry. Okay, so now our rack's clean and our chamber's clean and our door is clean. How does this all go back together? Make sure that your red heat mats are on the top of this. We're gonna get that plug. I like to just set my rack on the side here like this. Plug your plug back in, lock it back in. And then this next part is the tricky part to get right because this cord is always in the way. And I'm gonna try my best to capture this on video, but I like to take the slack of this, just like this, put a little bit of a loop in it and I hold it with my finger and just kind of guide it back. Otherwise that cord has a tendency to just get bunched up back there. And if you have your finger on it, just like, I don't know if you can see, but I'm pulling back while I'm pushing this rack back. It won't allow it to get bunched up behind the rack. And now that that's back together, we're just gonna fit in this groove. We're gonna put this in that groove all the way around. Just start at one little section. And I kinda just work my way around. Sometimes it takes some, some convincing, but just all the way around, make sure you have even pressure on all of it or it's gonna give you vacuum problems in the future if the seal is not completely flat. And there you go, you're ready for freeze drying once again. It's real easy once you know the right way to do it and the easy way to do it. Thanks for joining me today and thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. This is Retired at 40, remember to live life simple and we'll catch you next week.